Hey yo, pick up your shoulder pads and your helmet. And check this out. Y'all don't understand is the woman you're dealing with doesn't really like you that much. Because when someone likes you, they don't treat you like that. Because a woman who really likes you, gonna do everything that you like and nothing that you don't. The woman who don't want you to leave her is looking for solutions. The woman who Not only that, if a, if a woman really likes you, she gonna do whatever it takes to make you happy. She gonna submit to you. She gonna go 50-50. She's going to be peaceful. She's going to communicate with you. She's going to rock with you through the good and the bad and the ugly. You see, don't get it twisted, though. There are some good women out there. They rock like that. But on the other hand, there's some women out there that don't rock like that. And those are the ones that we are specifically talking about in this chapter. Woman is going through like emotional stuff is probably because of you. Stop emotions is a you problem. There's nobody else. Only you feel your emotions. Other human beings don't feel your emotions. You can't blame someone else for making you feel a certain type of way. A large number of you women gonna get triggered on this one. But this is the truth. This is the conversation that's long overdue that needs to be had. You have to be willing to hear it from both sides. To cheat on me, how would you do it? So I probably would, um, I'll probably wait till you go to the gym and then I'll probably just tell him to come over Bruh. and I'll throw the, I'll kind of throw the, um, Google in the bathroom and then make it dark so you just think that it's dark in the house and then I would, um, yeah, just bring him here. To what she's saying, how she's saying it, and going in straight detail. You cannot tell me she wasn't already thinking that or planning that. You didn't even try to act like you wouldn't do it. Same you thing. just got straight to yapping. What? Now you kind of, you kind of making me believe that that's something that you would really do. Don't ask no questions. Why come the pastor have to have him a nice house? Huh? I wanna leave. Why do I gotta go right now? I'll be back to hold you down. Oh my God. And I'm going to tell you niggas something. These demons look good, boy. They look good, boy. They go to the DR. They go down to Miami, Florida. They get their body done. They had them titties sitting up. And then the demon, the serpent, will look at you and say, gotcha. You didn't have to choose me. You chose me on your own. And then you sitting there looking like a damn duck. When it comes to choosing women, men, you have to use wisdom. Because like the sister said, the demon could look so good. The demon can taste so good. The demon can do all the things that will blow your mind. And on any given Sunday, the demon will turn on you and bite the fuck out of you. Ass be fat, waist be little, Instagram followers be up, face be pretty, how be laid, motherfucking tax flyer be made, arms crossed, bitch getting money. Seeing how disciplined a career man can be, a lot of these women would rather be outside because they lack the discipline and the patience required to be with that type of man. And another truth that I had to learn was that a lot of young women have no clue what they really want. For me, not only that, whether it's a younger woman or an older woman, Martin Lawrence once said it best, old fools used to be young fools, so you can't put an age limit on a damn fool. But when you have a large number of these women that grow up, in the household with no father present, it shows in their behavior. When it shows in their behavior, it shows how the way they move. Then and only then, that man has to make a decision. That man has to make a choice. You need to feel like you my boyfriend, you gotta like kind of let me know that you willing to take care of me. Oh, you gotta spend some money. Well, it's not about spending money, you Stop just gotta like, I gotta feel like I got a man. Chain snatching, jive ass, money motherfuckers. Why don't you get lost? Been in 
shit. Because if that's the case, I need to feel like I have a woman. So you need to show me that you are woman material. You see? That's how you, that's how you match that energy. You shouldn't have to feel nothing. Either you know or you don't know. Yes or no. Right or wrong. It's simple. Black and white. When I hear a large number of women talk like this, hell yeah, I match that energy. Term I use called bucket list dating. And there's a lot of women trying to bucket list date men right now. They'll try to go somewhere that they don't normally go themselves. It's it's a STK or a Mastro's or look at their Apple Pay wallet and it's just raising canes and Chick-fil-A. Like um, recently I matched with a doctor on a dating app and I was just like, you know, I say, you know. I remember this one. Hey, she makes a total asshole out of herself. Peep this out. What do you do? He's like, I'm a doctor. And he was just like, I was like, okay, so what's your goals? He, and he was just like, oh, no, I kind of blocked you because, like, what do you mean what's, what's my goals? Is a doctor not enough? I don't want somebody who's content with where they are. A doctor is being, being a doctor is amazing. I understand what you guys go through to get there, but why can't you want more? Who the fuck you looking at? Me having three jobs shows you that I'm never comfortable with being in one place. What? There's no man that's gonna make me feel bad for leaving him to go to someone else. So let's go let's go on ahead and let's get you out the way. Let's get you out the door. Go ahead and go where you need to go. Because I'm going where I'm needing to go. And that's what we see in a large number of men wakening up. Like I told you and I said it before, time and time again, men are having those conversations at the red table at the water cooler, on the sideline, in the end zone, in the locker room. Men are having those conversations. Men are growing, men are sharing. The man is no good to you. I don't even know why you would make this video because they don't deserve an explanation. But if you got a man with good intentions, it just shows how delusional most women are. They think they got hella options when we all only got two. You got people with good intentions, you got people with bad intentions. So if you got somebody with good intentions, it don't get no better than that. The only way it could possibly be better is if this is not the person you really wanted. So you want to go leave for that person. And that's not a problem. The problem is you being there in the first place. A lot of y'all will blame everybody else for y'all own shit. Y'all can't get the man y'all want because y'all busy with the man y'all don't. And all of the women who do want those men, they can't get them because y'all in the fucking way. Divorce, and I think I was about a year out of my divorce, and I finally was like, okay, I'll try to date. And I met this guy, and he was really, really nice. What's wrong with that? So I was like, this is weird, the ball. I'm waiting for the ball to drop here. Something's very suspicious. Like, I didn't trust it, right? But he was very doting, very loyal, very committed, and very mature. And I remember I had a tissy fit. I was sabotaging. Um, I was creating chaos, waiting for him to be aggressive towards me because that's what I was used to. So I almost like pushed the buttons mm -hmm. to see if I could trigger him to do something to me to prove my theory to be right. Like, what he did was he sat down and he watched me in my hysteria. And I had put on the show, not even realizing that he had checked out from the show. And I look and he's just sitting there. And I said, well, what are you doing? And he's like, I'm just waiting for you to finish. Like, you get to be ridiculous all by yourself. Uh -huh. I was so used to people participating in that, mm -hmm. <laughs> that he made me see myself. And I was so- What, you think you like me? You ain't like me, motherfucker. Sometimes when women are faced with these type of situations, they will try to test that man. And or she will subconsciously do things that could potentially break up the relationship. When I say this, and I say this with um, with love to a large number of you, a uh, large number of black women. You don't realize that the moment you open up your mouth and you behave this way, you lose value. You lose value. Depending on the way you dress, you've already lost value before you begin to speak. And it's simple and it's clear. 
some of these women have never known what it's like to be with a good man or they don't believe that they're worthy of it. But what we're seeing with modern women today is that they have substituted love with the selling out of their own souls. And I always like to say, if it's not you, there's no reason to get mad, right? Right. I say women want men that they can control. So I want you to lead, but I want you to lead the way I want you to lead. That's not letting him lead. If I say I want this Birkin bag, you a provider, go get it. And he say, I am a provider and we can't afford that Birkin bag. Now he ain't a real man. All the women say they want something that they're not really preparing to get. You're not really prepared for it. Like I said, you're not gonna hit me though. You're not gonna hit me though. You ain't gonna hit me though. You ain't gonna hit me though. Is you? Is you? I'm calling my daddy right now. Who the fuck you looking at? They say when a woman's fed up, Right? Well, men get tired too. Men get tired of not being appreciated, disrespected, emasculated, talked to any kind of way. Men get tired too. This man get up and go to work and do whatever he got to do to provide for you and this household and can't get a thank you. You talk. But now here's the thing. Let's flip that goal post. Men can't even get all of that. Man. But guess what? There's another woman from another community that gives that man that. Tell me something. I guarantee you, that man gonna go there. That man gonna go that way. That man gonna go where he's accepted. That man gonna go where he's celebrated. That man is gonna go where he's respected. That man's gonna go where he's loved. That man is gonna go where he is needed. That man's gonna go where he's appreciated. That man's gonna go where he's desired. Any kind of way, you tear this man down with your words. Instead of building him up, you tear him down. Sometimes the man, has to, he got to sit in the car for a few minutes before he come in and deal with you. Men get tired too. Yeah, everybody like to say when a woman's fed up, you know, men get fed up too. So understand, when a man gets tired of your shit and he walks away, that shit ain't no coming back. Do you ladies feel women are ready for emotionally intelligent men? We're talking about you wanting a man who is tolerant, who regulates his emotions, who also knows how to manage your emotions. But you're also talking about a man who knows how to navigate his sensitivities. You have to consider that an emotionally intelligent man is good at cutting people off when he sees that your sensitivities bring too much reactivity. When he sees that you cannot regulate your emotions, when he sees that you have a low tolerance, this type of man that you are asking for is a man who will walk you out the door in a heartbeat. If he feels like you are disrupting his peace, if he feels like there's any level of disrespect, there's a lot that comes with emotional intelligence. So if that, man, that man will pick up his shoulder pads and his helmet and he would walk on. That man, when I say a word, because once that man's mindset is made up, is done. When he is silent, it's over.